Hey, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about a chapter that I had to read for my NEAV 427 class, and this chapter was focused around transfer and what transfer is in the education setting is taking a subject matter or taking a lesson that you've learned and kind of applying it in different ways or um, thinking about it with different strategies. Um, and one thing that this chapter said was that transfer is also affected by the context of, of original learning. Um, so people can learn one context yet um, they kind of fail to transfer that into another context. So like one really, I feel like obvious example of this would be math. So you could learn way of doing a certain math question or uh, learn a certain mathematical equation and you could learn that and do problems like that all the time but then some people won't be able to transfer that over from what they've learned if one step is different or um, if the question is just kind of changed up a little bit. Um, so one thing that I found was that there's different ways to kind of teach transfer um, and the first one is ask learners to solve a specific case and then provide them with an additional similar case so that's taking let's just say a math problem um, and then kind of changing up that math problem with just a few different numbers or uh, asking for a different outcome and then the second one is let students learn in a specific context and then help them engage in what if problem solving designed to increase the flexibility of their understanding so kind of what I got from that was asking your students to kind of go through this problem and then not physically change anything but kind of just stand up in front of them and be like well what if this was changed and what if you had this kind of outcome how would you do that um, and I feel like that would help them with their problem solving skills because they have to think back through how they originally would do that but then they would have to transfer that um, and then a third one is to generalize the case so that learners are asked to create a solution that applies not simply to a single problem, but to a whole class of related problems. So uh, this would be like giving them a bunch of different outcomes and being like, okay, don't go through each individually and solve them to get that right answer but what it what's the correlation of all of these how what's the simplest form of how you can get all of those and then from that once you find that base go back through and work all of them so they can find kind of the bigger picture of how they can problem solve and then from that that's when the students could go back into the what if and transfer all of that or you can just sit there and actually change something and you can personally let the students change that um, but I think this is actually really important because in day-to-day -day problems and um, especially when it comes to standardized testing um, I know in the ECT and I just recently took the GRE um, I knew certain ways to do some of the math problems but I had to personally go through and change and kind of insert different ways of working that problem so I could actually get that right outcome 